normal, non-weird looking headphones. Like dogs, there are many breeds of headphones. The cats are much harder. But in layman's terms, you've got ones that go in your ears and ones that go on or over them. Well, I've seen those culturally questionable taco adverts. Why not have both? Just like this, Look, I'm, it's done. I bet you've seen a lot of ads for these. Neurophones. These are Aussie too, born in Melbourne. That's where my brother and his wife live. Hey, Mole and Beardy. They start off as a Kickstarter and they look absolutely mental. I don't get excited about packaging anymore after like, you know, the Beats by Dre where it's, hey, it's a nice unboxing experience, but like with average products inside. Ugh. But the box for this is excellent. I have already removed them because secrets. But I mean, you know, it's like what? <laughs> Die cut foam. It's nice. It's really well packed. But who cares about the box? Let's see those cans. Like right out the gates. They are built gloriously. <laughs> like Sony XM4s, they're nice. Like, and they got amazing noise cancelling. Yeah, it's all plastic and whatever feeling. Not terrible, just <sighs> how things are now. Metal, metal. And these are the softest silicone ear pads I think I've ever felt. Like, if leather is high tier for like natural materials, then this right here is high tier for man made materials. So, the whole vibe with these and why folks are really interested is that we all hear music differently. I mean, it's why studios have crazy shapes all around the place, it's to direct the sound around. All of our ears have different shapes inside, so that means we hear stuff differently. We'd all like to have headphones that have a balanced sound, you know, where you can hear the low stuff and the high stuff. So, these are meant to map your ears and tune your music just for you. Like legit, you gotta learn how to fit them. Like these go right in your ears and, and they have to seal. And like, look, my left ear is a different shape to my right ear. It's normal, I swear. But it's always been a pain to get specific earplugs to fit right. Straight up, it's gonna get frustrating as it's hard to know if you've done it right. These actually need to face away from you. Thankfully, the app does a test and like, here, I'll show you. Oh! Once it's checked the seal, it will play these crazy arpeggios in these like frequencies. It's super sci-fi and it's like super easy because legit you just sit there and do nothing and wait like 60 seconds or so. And it's done! You can see it's got neutral and personalized. Like normally it shows a bubble here. Here's the one that I've just made. And there's the one from my iPhone. It's cool that it, like jumps it over. But for some reason on this, I, the Dingus Pod Touch, it's not showing it. Uh, I can't use my phone because it's actually recording these videos by the way. You can see on the box like this bubble they give you, it's meant to represent Represent like how your ears like to hear things. You know, some people's ears are really sensitive to sub bass, or maybe not sensitive at all. So really bassy headphones just sound really regular to them. Uh, people also reported that every time they did it, the shape looked a little bit different. But who cares, right? All the bubbles in the world mean nothing if these don't sound any good. So do they sound any good? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they do. But I bet you're all wondering like, why do they look like this? <laughs> Most headphones are just a single membrane. Don't cry for the mockies, they were already trash. <laughs> Ew. There you go. That's what most headphones have in them. It's just a single piece of plastic with a coil wound around it and a magnet. Look, I can prove it. Oh, what? Damn you, Mockies, you're making me look like a liar now. I mean, it's pretty amazing, really. Even really high-end headphones, just a single membrane. And the way it works is the low notes do like really big movements, and then it does all the high notes in between the low notes. It's nuts. But that's why super bassy headphones can sound like really muffling. The top end gets all lame because, you know, it's shaking around like this. Uh. So what the neurophones are doing is that the mids in high end come out of the, well, what can only be described as like an old mate pitching a tent in a pair of tracky dacks. And then the bass low end comes from the big ovary bit. And let me say, these are the stinkiest big bass headphones I've ever owned, right? And I've got XB1000s, yeah? But then they don't have to be big stinky headphones. And like, that's honestly where the fun is for me. So with the whole bubble thing they got going here, what I feel they're doing is they're making a balanced sound and then they're asking you how much bass would you like sir or ma'am because i don't care what they call this it's a bass slider but to test its calibrated sound i compared it to my workstation i've got some focal shape 65s running through an apollo twin which is running sonarworks which basically has mapped my entire room with a special microphone it creates a sound profile of your room and then flattens them off and makes them Perfect. My amazing AKG K812s, they're just a preset in there. Boom! Flat. I was jumping between the Neuras and the 812s. 
and I was still liking this. <laughs> but honestly, the main event, right, the base slider, it, it's hilarious. Because I mean, like the top end is being handled by these little dingus things. You crank that slider all the way until literally, yes, they shake on your head. That's the vibe they're going for, is that they and that's where they're selling the immersion idea. But overhyped marketing aside, it's a bass slider and it works. Like, you can have stinky nightclub bass. I had gig residencies in nightclubs and like, yeah, it's cranked all the way that it's beautifully disgusting. <laughs> if it's already going to look weird, it might as well be fun too. Wait, so it's providing a balanced sound with basically unlimited bass at your disposal that doesn't disturb the top end? This sounds like a trip in a gravy boat, mate, and all my dreams are coming true. Well, I do have some grumbles. It's got touch controls. Awesome! These are buttons. The app lets you do insane amounts of stuff with it. Well, it looks like the trip on the gravy boat's still cruising. My issue is, Every part of the button is the button. You can't touch anything, not even the very side like this. Bonk, you've paused your music. Bonk, you've turned off the noise cancelling. They got a headband, nothing wrong with that. They slide really easily too. Nothing wrong with that either. But these are such a specific fit. You know, I got better at putting them on, but I always needed to adjust the headband because in the tussle of getting them on, this adjusts a little bit. Where do you think I'm gonna touch to adjust it? Yeah, like this. Look, that, that's natural, is to use them to adjust. But then, bonk, bonk. So I just turn the touch buttons off. Like, if you've got a smart watch made in the last four years, you can just override those buttons easily. And the pop noise it does for whenever you've pressed them, I don't know, it just, it's a frequency to my ears that's like almost startling. It's like, bonk, but I wish I could tighten these. As I said, they're a really, really specific fit. And like, what I'd like to do is get them so they fit perfect, get it all adjusted, and then go, Ur! and so every time I take them off and put them on, it's the same. It's the thing that keeps changing and it really affects how they fit. I don't know why they've got such simple adjustment. I mean, these aren't for sharing. Like, they're, they're like butt plugs for your ears. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, the app offers, like, different maps so, like, different people can use the same phone with the same headphones, but in fact, in public, you almost want to make sure there isn't any old mate's gold hanging off the ends of these before wearing them around your neck. But yeah, oh, if you can just go and tighten them, that'd just be gravy, bro. Now, like, the app is neat. The setup process, the way it checks to make sure your ears are sealed, Good, awesome. It's slow though, <laughs> really slow. I mean, yes, I was playing around with it quite a bit, you know, cause every song I wanted to play with that bass slider and noises tentacles at max whack bass settings, funny. Super fun. But like jumping in between Tidal and Neura app, it would keep needing to connect to the servers. It could take like 15 seconds or literally in the case of two times filming this, lock up completely. The base slider is, it's just stepped. I really hoped it'd be infinite. You know what I mean? So in the app after doing the crazy ear rave as it measures your ears, it'll play some music, but oh, it's not personalized yet. When you flip that switch and then it's like, Whoa! But the non-personalized sound is awful, like really poor. I mean, it doesn't matter because the whole point of this is that you get the sound that's tailored just for you. The personalized sound, that's why you bought them. Like, I'm not accusing, but I wouldn't be the first to say it feels a little bit put on. Like they knew no one would use the unpersonalized sound. So it's been gipped a little bit to make it seem more impressive. You know, for a lot of people, these are gonna be their main headphones. They won't have piles to check against. Cause yeah, in the neutral setting, I wouldn't wear these at all. But I only say that because the personalized sound is good. It's good. Unpersonalized is terrible. <laughs> Proprietary port. They give you all the cables you need, but it's just a little bit out of date, isn't it? I mean, the Neuras are about three years old now. I mean, their founding was back in 2015, and back then to see something like this was not uncommon. But in near 2021, and we're begging for 2020 to end, you know, it's just a bit annoying today. Uh, and I thought these would be outstanding for wind noise, like, because it's two layers of protection here. And they are but just not when turned on. <laughs> there must be some microphone magic going on or something because when they're on and working, there's wind noise, but when they're completely turned off, there isn't. Like strange, I mean, it's not awful. It's just like any other headphones, but I was hoping for better, I guess. Uh, you can wear them with glasses, but the silicone tends to grip them a bit and um, snacking is agony. I mean, eat chips while blocking your ears and like, you'll know, and you're all looking insane because you're all trying now. Everyone's just wincing with mouthfuls of snacks with their ears blocked. Uh, and annoying at times, like the, <sighs> annoyingly at times, the app just ignored my touch button settings, which is turn them off, please. So I'll be putting them on and like practicing how to fit them and boop, 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 boop. All I've got is Christopher Cross's all right, 
pausing and I'm pausing. Uh, in audio file land, there's something called soundstage, which is how wide and 3D the music feels. My go-to sit down, quiet room, listen, cancel out LCD 2s. Like, it's like the music's all around you. The downside to in-ears, and even amazing ones, is that yeah, they don't tend to be particularly wide because, you know, they're right in your head. It's hard to make that out-of-body feeling when they're literally playing from inside of you. I mean, you know, they're not bad. It's just conventional closeback vibe. They are pretty heavy, but I like it. I like the heavy. It's balanced because all of it is metal. Some folks said that they're hard to wear for a really long time, but then some people didn't mind them at all. And my friend Jack said that these look like something that needs milking. <laughs> but notice, none of my complaints are about the sound. And just on the sound merits, well, how do they stack up? You know Sony's brand new XM4s? And my darling AKG K845s, these are from 2013 and still the one to beat. They smashed the Sony's. Oh, they smashed the Sony's. But I mean, these are cheaper, lighter, more comfortable. You, you know, there's no old mate special going on in here. The noise cancelling is better. Uh, it comes with a hard case. But sound wise, give me them nerves, mate. The top end is better. The top end's great. And then just with the bottomless pit of stinky bass. It's bottomless, guys. They really do shake on your head. But what about the AKGs? Because, I mean, I preferred these over the Sonys as well. I mean, they don't have any noise cancelling. They're old. I'd hate to take these on walks, whereas the Sonys are lovely. And, um, it's hard. The AKGs still go really low in a classy, effortless way. And they are way wider feeling with, like, more detail. But the Nuras are really fun, though. <laughs> like, they feel like they sit on the same shelf. This guy does this, but this guy does this. Like, sitting around in a quiet house on a couch, I'm gonna put the AKGs on. They're just way more open feeling while being closed back wireless. But out and about, give me the Nuras, man. Hey, <laughs> these are awful outside. No noise cancelling wind goes... <laughs> And just a quick dude about the noise cancelling with the newer phones, um, it didn't have it when launched. And they got it working with an update. Boom! Every newer phone now has noise cancelling. And it's like, it's conventionally good. That's amazing. <laughs> they aren't cheap. But trying to add value, mate, newer are looking where the market is. They sell a gaming headset. <laughs> that means like, yeah, you can just wire them straight into your computer. I think this is clever because, you know, this money you're looking at. Astro A50s, really nice gaming headset, and just really nice headphones in general. And so for a lot of people, it's hard to juggle. Do I get headphones or a headset? Again, why not have three things? Proprietary, but it's a really nice fit. Look at that, it's like a Lego block. But as a point of comparison, mate, we're gonna take a listen to all the microphones that come in these naturally, cause yeah, you can make phone calls with any of these. So it's one time, me and Kev were out doing bird, it's rum, 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 Kev was like, mate, you gotta bust mum's Corolla, my mate Dora, man, we're all gonna bust mum's Corolla. And then we busted mum's Corolla. So like mum's Corolla's on bus that I ride, but it's worse cause all the shopping's in the back still with like no one near home. And like mum's in the back too. Like she was living. I'm pretty sure she was yelling the whole time, but ugly was rah, bah, 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 bah. So like dad's come and picked us up in the VC Commodore, which is pretty sweet where you bust this bird out. But like I've been told him we didn't get any of the shopping out of the boot yet. But it's like we're another half hour away from home anyway. I don't tell dad when we get home. So like I told dad about the shopping and he was pretty mad because he banned me from food. We're, we're, and it was for nine months as well. M nine months, no food. Well, I mean, to be honest, like, he only said that after I accidentally broke the glove box lid on the VC Commodore, get my sonnies out. Yeah, he actually says he doesn't care about the shopping, but... Mate, he cares about that car. The regular mic in this, it's okay. It kind of waves in and out a little bit. Uh, the gaming one is way clearer. Uh, it's a little bit peaky at times. I couldn't change it while using on my iPhone. Uh, but still, you know, a massive improvement if you want to use them for games and, you know, Zoom meetings as well. It comes with this secure clip to, like, hold this in place. But, like, legit, the fit on this is so good, I never bothered and I lost it as well because I just didn't use it. And like, I don't know about you, silicone ear cups being dragged across my face, oh, and not to mention the butt plugs for your ears, right? I'd rather this get pulled out in the event of something snagging the cable than having these pulled off of my face sideways. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't want that. That sounds awful. Now, usually I use the ears, like the freakish ears on a stand, but the problem is I couldn't get these to fit in there. It's so, like, yeah, I, I couldn't do it. I'm so sorry. This is not proper. I need the, like, the $10,000 rigs. And yes, I do want to get those at some point. But anyways, it's tuned to your ears anyway. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's it's going to sound however it does for you. So with the good and the bad, do I recommend them? Yeah. 
Yeah, I do. I, I'm here holding these beautifully made things. They have a sound to them that I put up there with my AKs, and yet they're a startup Australian company. And I say that in build quality too. This is up there with the AKGs. And I feel not only do they deliver a unique experience, it's the stinkiest base in town. Make that a tech sticker, mate. Dank Pods Awards, stinkiest base of the year. But that's only if you want stinky base. You can just dial it down. You can have them as flat as you want. I got better at wearing them. You're gonna have to practice and the angle angle of attack really matters. I found I, I had the headband too far back for some reason. You know, with the noise cancelling, like they kept all the noise of the big trucks out around here when I'm going for walks, which means you know, they're usable anyway. <laughs> if you guys can just make these lockable and just give a slight dead zone around the touch buttons, just a little bit. But heck yeah, if they've been sitting in the shopping cart and you've been so tempted just to hit by it now, look, it's not a scam. These are really fun and they're built like something that you, you know, you want to keep and look after. Satisfyingly cold and heavy yet strangely soft. Nice job, Nura. Go, Aussies. And uh, that's it. You know, thanks so much for watching. You know, huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here. Mate, one dollar a month. I direct through videos and, you know, Headphone videos are hard work. They don't seem it, but the research behind it, man, like, you know, you could be dropping 500 kangaroo coins on some of these, and like, I don't want to lead you astray. I live out of these for a while, so I want to do something a bit more cash. Let's play an up-to-date gaming console. Let's play my, my game gear, but it's, it's encrusted with filth. Yeah, so it plays these dingus games like this, but my favorite thing about this is it's just a shrunken down Sega Master with a screen, which is basically Sega's home console before the Mega Drive. Some countries call it a Genesis. Weird. Look, it comes with this big dingus, also encrusted with filth. Yeah, you screw it in. What's this? It can now play full-size Master System games, like Impossible Mission. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm the old mate making all this happen. So yeah, look, super cares. We're just gonna play a bit of a game. <laughs> Two headphone videos this week, my brain is crushed. So thanks so much, Anola. I'll see you all next time. What is this? What what are you doing? Frank? You good? Where you going? Can I come? That's rude. Rude!